Hello everyone, Epiclipse here, and today I'm bringing you a video of basically Rocket League map modding and basically like what we've found out and like um, sort of what's new and what we're doing, what we're trying to do, what's going to be coming out soon, how close are we to getting it, like basically goals, boosts, playing it with friends and all that. And also I'm going to be showing off my new map that I just made. Uh, not too long ago. It's nothing really too complicated. It's more of a testing map trying to figure out angles and stuff like that But I I've been having a little bit of a problem with UDK recently Which I will show you guys as well, and I will show you guys this map on UDK So if you're new and haven't seen like any of my videos before about this or seen really any of the posts about how to do it um, I'll leave a link in the description about my video of how to make your own maps kind of and all that stuff and then I'm also going to leave in the description a link to the reddit like form that we made for basically all like map modding and stuff like that so feel free to check that out so let's get into this so this is my map made on UDK um, it's really just a gigantic training map it works just fine for doing basically anything that you want in training uh, the big thing that people have been having trouble with including ourselves is walls which they're just kind of weird so like this wall you know I've got this wall working it's invisible actually at the moment because I'm having problem with UDK texturing and stuff you can drive on it sort of it's kind of hard to stick on them um, I've been working on basically trying to get us to be able to stick on the wall but we me and Tim have figured out is when I say I'm Tim you guys like what's not even Steven or it can only be two however you know him uh, the other person that basically just found this out with a, like we did all this and stuff so basically um, Rocket League itself uses some sort of different kind of like patch to UDK that allows that makes it so walls aren't spazzy because if you guys haven't done it before or if you have you would know that sometimes if you put a wall straight up like this it won't go in this direction like this it'll go like perpendicular to what this is which is really weird so they definitely have some we know they have some sort of patch for the gravity like sticking to the walls and stuff like I've been trying to figure out if it isn't a patch and you could do it anyway and then we're also figuring out like goals and boosts to put our own stuff in there and that I think will be in the patch as well so we're working on trying to make that patch and figure everything out so we're gonna have our own basically Rocket League custom map design so Besides from that, this is my map. Um, we'll go around it for a second. Basically, it's just a big circle. I mean, I thought eventually if I can round off the edges and stuff and, you know, put walls around the edge and put, like, the goals into, like, the sides, I figured it'd be a pretty cool map to play with, like, <laughs> if you can get more than, like, four people would be pretty good, but it would be a very large map. Maybe I can size it down a little bit because if you guys can't tell it's huge so basically when you make your own map uh, you can do it for everything actually you can do some pretty interesting things which um, I work try to work on is like say you do change training and you can do you can do all the aerial training and stuff they work so say you do this and you come and for the training you can have like little like boxes set up in the sky and hit the ball into it and then it's not going to score ever but that's kind of like how it would work it's very glitchy with it stopping too it, if it hits like that sloped wall there it won't work but it's got to hit like down I'm pretty sure it should work and that right there I don't know that's part of my glitchiness in UDK that little like cone so it's, yeah, see it's got to hit the ground if it's a little sloped it won't end the uh, training so you can also do some pretty interesting things with that too put some sloped walls to have you time for either dribbling or something like that but enough with that enough with the training I mean you can do all of them um, some of them may be a little bit more interesting than others like goalie training yeah uh no yeah So, like, goalie training is a little bit differently because it won't actually work. It'll just 
rocket the ball off, but it sh um, you know, striker training should work. It may give you a couple different angles, angles, and basically if you learn the trainer and stuff like that, you should be able to make custom maps actually around the trainer to do some interesting things. And besides from just having a big free play map, because that's what I really like about it, is because, you know, if you're practicing like aerial dribbling and stuff, let's just say you're doing that, it, it's really nice to practice on this big map that you have plenty of room to do it, you won't hit a wall, so you can see basically how long you could lift it for, and also you can make yourself fun little mini, a mini game where you can put like numbers in the ground and like little dashes and see how far you can like dribble it, like make up your own distance, like 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet. So it's all pretty cool things that you can do and some ideas, and then let me show you this on UDK here. So this is it, <laughs> if you guys can't see. Um, it's a little glitchy. I can't actually get, you know, I can't, this is how you spawn textures in, it won't, no matter what texture I throw on there, so if I throw that there, it won't actually texture. I don't know what's wrong. If you guys have had this problem before and learned how to fix it, please let me know because it's really hindering our process. So, just nothing's really working here. I don't know, I've been trying a lot of things just won't go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It won't spawn in anything. Say, so, it's just... Nope. It's a lot better doing it on this, though, instead of the really glitchy texture, even though I don't have any colors. But, so this is back on UDK, and if you guys haven't also heard, I'll, if you go on the other Reddit, um, the UDK that we first originally came out with was not the right UDK. They used an older version of it. So that's what we're on now, and it does work better with textures and stuff like that, and that will be what the patch is for. So basically, that's what we've been up to. Um, of course, when we find out anything or make the patch or something, I'll make a new video or any cool maps or anything, I'll make a video about them. And if you have any cool maps, let me know, send me them, and I can make a video about them too. So this has been Epic Eclipse, and this has been kind of a minor update on what's going on and what we're looking to push for here so i will keep you guys definitely updated and i will see you guys in the next one